So I want to spend a little time today talking about dual agency and why if you are a seller this can put you in maybe an unfavorable position. Um, dual agency is basically when one agent represents the buyer as well as the seller. In California dual agency is still allowed, many other states it's not allowed. And there's a lot of reasons why it makes sense to discontinue the use of dual agency. So as a seller, you put your home on the market, you have an agent representing you, and then you have buyers that come along. And most of the time, those buyers have agents representing them. But sometimes those buyers want to go directly to the listing agent because they think that they're going to get a more favorable advantage if they have the listing agent represent them. The problem with that from a seller standpoint is that you want an agent that's going to be representing you and acting in your best interest. But then that agent, the same agent, is also representing that buyer. How can they act in the best interest of you, the seller, as well as the buyer? There's so many issues that can come up. Check out this quick scenario I put together. This is a typical conversation that we've had many times over the years. Hey, I uh, see you're the listing agent on this property. I'd really like you to represent me. You can make double the commission, plus maybe you can give me the inside track on where I need to be with my price so we can get the uh, seller to accept our offer. You know, I can certainly represent you, but I really can't tell you where you need to be at with your price. It just wouldn't be fair to the other agents and their clients. Come on now, just give me the inside scoop. We can get the offer accepted, and plus you're making double the commission. You know, it's a win-win for everybody involved. You know, I understand, but it just puts me in an awkward position that I'm not really comfortable with. And I really, you know, at this point, I think it'd be better if you just find your own agent to write up an offer for you. All right, man, but it's your loss. So as a seller, you're trying to get the most money possible, but then you have a buyer that's also working with the same agent. It's similar to an attorney representing the prosecution, but then also working on the behalf of the defense. You know, where do you draw the line on disclosure and working in the best interest of your client? It just becomes such a complicated, tricky transaction to deal with. There's been plenty of occasions when we've wanted to submit an offer on behalf of our buyer and we've had listing agents completely ignore us, not give us the time of day because they had a buyer that they were also representing. And that's what drives me crazy. There's other times with dual agency where you could have two agents that are working at a large brokerage, they might have a hundred agents, one agent is representing the seller, another agent at that same brokerage is representing a buyer. That is also considered dual agency, but that's not my biggest concern because you have two agents involved. My biggest issue is when you have one agent representing the buyer and the seller. That, I think, really I wish it would just go away. If you have any questions about this, please leave a comment below. We'll be back at you next week with another video. And again, if you haven't seen our amazing drone video showcasing San Diego, I'll put a link right here in the video. Please check it out. And again, this is Alex with Team Aguilar Real Estate. I hope everybody's having a great day and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.